Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup, so if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are gonna film a uh, first impression with the Natasha Denona Mini Love and I create this look, so if you're curious about that, please keep on watching. Hi guys, so in today's video, we are gonna do a first impression of the Natasha Denona Mini Love palette and I'm very excited and yeah, so let's swatch it first. So we have five colors in here, all minis, uh, and the names are You Are My True Love, which is very cute. So the first one, it's called You, and it's a pink shimmer. And I think it's a pink to bronze, if you can see in here. It's very beautiful. Next one, it's R, <laughs> and uh, it's uh, a more um, dusty pink. Next is my, <laughs> um, which is the dark yummy shade. It's like a dark plum. Then we have True, which is the more champagne shade. But it has some pink in it as well. And the last shade is Love and is the more pink, more of a true pink shimmer. Okay, so these are the swatches. Okay, let's prime the eyes. I'm using, of course, the Natasha Dinona eyeshadow primer. And I'm very happy that all my eyeshadow brushes are clean. I cleaned them yesterday and I have options today. <laughs> and as well, I love my base. I will uh, list it down below. I don't have blush and highlighter yet, but I think this product is the one that made everything this smooth and I love my base today. This is the Severe uh, sunscreen and is the blur, the blur sunscreen. Um, I really love this product. I think it's a great base for makeup and it's an SPF, so it's a two-in-one <laughs> and I love it and I put on top the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation this combo is perfect and I love even my brows today <laughs> today is a good makeup day and today I'm going somewhere actually which is not very often and I will pierce my ear in here to have another two holes in my lobe like this one and I'm not very excited about the pain and the freaking, I, I mean not the pain from doing the piercing just I sleep on this side so it will not be great but I really want to match the sides a bit I'm not gonna do this this ones in here no way because those are a pain uh, in the <laughs> so no <laughs> we're gonna start with this pink and I'll put that in my crease and this is the Sigma E25 and I have a bit of powder under the eyes as well to catch any fallout if we have some and it's Saturday morning so I have the coffee in here as well but I turn on the lights in the back because I think they look better <laughs> and after my appointment with the piercing I have in mind to go to a small shop that has uh, some American candy and snacks and everything and I want to buy something from there I'm very excited to test some candies and some snacks I did try some 
I remember maybe two years ago or something like that and I don't remember liking something very very much but I remember hating the um, flaming hot cheetos oh my god <laughs> those were horrible I really didn't like them so maybe this time I will try another flavor I will see but those no way <laughs> I'm taking now this brush, it's a Zoeva 234 and I will take the dark shade and just put it in the outer corner and I'm putting it on the lower lash as well and I'm very excited that I planned the videos for December as well most of them because I'm posting two times a week of course I don't need a lot of videos but I want to summarize this year and I think that will be very fun I'm very excited to uh, film everything and post them and I have some ideas for the starting of 2022 so I'm very excited for those as well okay so something like this my blend is not too great but it's fine okay so on the lid i want to put first this shimmer and then on top the duo chrome and we are gonna use the champagne of course in the inner corner so flat brush and i will spray both of these shades because i much prefer um, eyeshadows with a bit of setting spray on them i'm sure that it will be great without the spray but this pink shimmer is very unique on its own but i want to build up the other one let's see some magic oh my god the second one has a lot more dimension and it's a totally the different formula I will blend a bit the edges okay pencil brush and I will take the champagne shade I will just put a bit under the brow and then in the inner corner I will spray the brush and drag it on the lower lash as well even this champagne shade is unique and it reflects a lot of light. Okay, so let's remove the excess powder. And this is the final look without any mascara or something like that. I will put some blush highlight mascara and a purple pencil. This one is the Sephora Eccentric Diva. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I did zoom you out a bit and this is the final look. I put the Rare Beauty Mascara and like I said, the purple pencil. I will build it up a bit more afterwards. But I really like this look and of course I like this palette. I think for a lot of people this one is the favorite one from the minis at least. And I can see why this, this very first shade, it's really special and the mats are of course great as usual so i can say that this is the normal great natasha dinona's formula and yeah so if you like the look and you want to see more from me please subscribe and give it a like and i'll see you next time